So let me toss out a hypothetical. Let's say there was a news story where you were found in like 600 violations of, um, you know, um, ethical wrongdoings by, via an investigation. What would you do? What, what's your game plan? How do you get the media off of that very juicy and salacious story? Well, if you're Hillary Clinton, what you do is you lob a bomb at Tulsi Gabbard and <laughs> wait for the media to just completely ramp up on that. And the thing that really drives me nuts about it is that Tulsi, in a way, took the bait without even without like and, and, and helped to deflect from the much bigger in the grand scheme of things story about Hillary Clinton's wrongdoings when it comes to the email probe. But it is what it is, you know, <laughs> you do what you got to do. So we're going to get into um, uh, Tulsi's response here because her response was rather fierce. And in many ways, she said things that we have all been thinking and feeling, particularly when it comes to the Clintons and it comes to HRC. You are a war hawk. You are corrupt. You are all of the bad things, which I, I mean, it's there's tons of evidence in that that points in that direction. But. She missed that goal. She uh, she either did, missed it. She got so wrapped up in Hillary actually calling her out, as opposed to, um, you know, like actually focus, like you know, redirecting the focus onto what Hillary wanted it off of. And that's I, that's what I believe to be the most disappointing part of this entire ordeal. But as far when. It, I, I, as far back as this channel's existed, I have said that, yeah, if I were going to choose anybody of who was available, Tulsi's my girl, okay? She stood up against the DNC back when Bernie did it. And that's another thing. People are like, oh, well, why does she have such a beef? Why would she have an issue with uh, Tulsi in the first place? And it's because Tulsi stood up against the um, Democratic National Committee when they went to school over Bernie in 2016. She was one of the few, if not the only one that did. It's a big part of the of the reason why I do support her for, you know what I'm saying? I do support her candidacy. I don't see it going anywhere, not this time around. But, <laughs> like, 2024, sweetie, 2024. But, you know, um, I, it's a big part of the reasons why I'm, like, really into her. Because even then, she, uh, she, so, she showed a ton of integrity that is just sorely lacking and sorely missing. And are there questions? Yes. I mean, whenever I say Tulsi, people were like, what? She, she's she's the exact same thing that Hillary's trying to call her. She's like, oh, she's an Assad puppet. She, there's, she's an, she, she um, is anti-Semitic. I got that. Um, she's isolationalist. I got that. I've gotten so many people who are kind of like surprised by it, but as someone who believes in integrity, believes that, you know, like we, there is a certain standard that we should hold ourselves up to. I can appreciate that. She, like I, she gets a lot of love from me on a strength of, uh, she does hold herself up to that standard. And when it comes to, um, there's one more piece, <laughs> you know what? We'll get into it as this video goes on, but let's, let's do this. Thank you very much for coming on. Thanks, sucker. So just to, to the factual point first, um, are you a Russian sleeper cell? <laughs> uh, look, here, let me tell you what this is about. Uh, this is about Hillary Clinton sending a very strong message saying that because I am and have long been calling for an end to, to our country's foreign policy of waging one regime change war after the next, uh, the likes of which we've seen in Iraq, in Libya, and ongoing in Syria, and because I'm calling for an end to this new Cold War and nuclear arms race, that I am a Russian asset and that I am a traitor to the nation that I love. And not only are they saying that about me, they are basically saying, sending this message out to every veteran in this country, every service member, every American, anyone watching at home who is fighting for peace and who is calling for an end to these regime change wars, this new Cold War and arms race. They are saying that you are also a Russian asset and that you are all. OK, sweetie, first and foremost, start with no. Secondly, <laughs> Secondly, it's that word salad. Deal is, is that you should have pointed it right on back. Oh, no, 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 no. Her, her, her email servers are the issue here, you know? Like, when that's the thing about politicians is that when they start running their mouths instead of giving direct, blunt answers, which is one of the reasons why Trump 
is so beloved is because it's like yo you're, you're sitting here you're trying to like do the run around you know saying do the dip and, do the dip and twirl nah like just flat out say no then you want to sit there and advocate for the regime change wars uh, putting it into that that's why i love you see that's part of the platform that i adore but you're also doing the regular, oh yeah, I gotta talk for a full three minutes without giving a direct answer. And I really believe that if a lot more, if we hold our um, elected officials to this standard where, hey, give us a direct answer first, like a, a flat yes or no, and then you can go and explain whatever it is you need to explain, I think that's so much better and so much more coherent, particularly when you think about America's educational system. Let's continue. So a traitor to this country. That's really what's happening here. But to call someone, I mean, it's one thing to say, I disagree with you. I think you're wrong. You know, you're crazy even. But to say you're betraying your country. And by the way, I should remind our viewers, you're a veteran. Uh, but, but that any American is betraying his or her country is, is a different level. I, I've never heard anybody at Hillary Clinton's level say something like that. You've also, Tucker, never heard anybody at um, Hillary Clinton's level get in the type of trouble that she's gotten into with the email servers. But instead of like saying, yeah, uh, oh, wow, this thing that's like, <laughs> like, they really did pull a, um, what's the name, pull the laser pointer out and just have the media, you know, going after that little red dot, go after that little red dot. Anything other than you didn't see 600 plus uh, 600 and some change of uh, violations no 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 no, nothing to see here nothing to see here tulsi you're a russian agent come on man this is ridiculous like because that's the thing i don't believe tulsi is a russian agent by any stretch of the imagination i believe that you know i mean of the options that i have and of the personas available to me she is the one that i appreciate the most she's the one that i feel has the most integrity plain and simple and uh, <laughs> it's really funny to like i mean i admire both tulsi and tucker but guys you're having the wrong conversation and the reason why she's doing this is because ultimately she knows that she can't control me that that i stand for i stand against everything that she represents and that if I'm elected president, if I'm the Democratic nominee and elected president, that she won't be able to control me. She won't be able to manipulate me. She won't be able to continue to uh, work from behind the curtain to continue these these regime change wars that have been so costly. Uh, thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniform were killed in Iraq, a war that she championed. Their blood is on her hands. Uh, I am calling for an end to these regime change wars. This is why she's speaking out strongly and smearing my character and trying to undermine my campaign. And just as she is doing this to me, this is what will happen to anybody who's doing the same. And that's the thing. The DNC, Hillary Clinton, the establishment, yeah, they've had it out for her for a really long time. But this wasn't personal. This was, I need to get the focus off of this other thing. That's all it was. I And she called out. She's like, oh, I know who been. And that was like the funniest part of her like little sort of rant. Oh, you know, we had a feeling who it was. Now it's you. Come on into this game, partner. <laughs> She's not getting into the presidential election. She already lost. Everybody knows it's a waste of money. Uh, this is simply just a diversion tactic. And whereas it's heartbreaking that my girl uh, Tulsi really fell for the bait. Hopefully this gives her a little bit more, um, you know, uh, a little bit more traction, maybe a few more people uh, really like her and really actually go out and vote for her in Iowa and all of these primary states. And hopefully she can, you know, get get some get some notoriety going and really get a really get a campaign in the full gear, because I really believe that of the available options, she's the best one. It's a it's the best. She's the best to go uh, to against Trump on a policy level. You know, saying anybody else, if you try to make it a personality thing, you're going to get run over. But at a policy level, I feel like she can go at him and we can have a actual decent conversation that can actually draw the nation towards a better um, towards better understanding of our what the differences between our foreign interest and, you know, fighting for freedom and be able to dissuade a lot of that. You know, so I, I think that would be the more. Um, as far as like what would benefit the country, I think her versus Trump would be the best matchup. Because even though I don't see her beating Trump, I can see a more um, 
a more substantive conversation coming from their matchup as opposed to any of these other jackasses caught crying about um, Orange Man bad. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike. Yeah, go ahead. Do that too. I'm not scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bit shooting alike. We both know what the, how they feel and speak. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you think Rush Tulsi's uh, an, an agent? I mean, any thoughts you have? I'd love. That's what my comment section is for. I really do enjoy watching the back and forth as well as in, partaking in the conversation. So please let me know what you guys think. And until the next one.